Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have a new fountain pen to share with you guys and I am really excited. So this fountain pen is from a new to me pen shop, Pen Heaven, based out of London. And it is also a new to me fountain pen brand. This is a Le Bon fountain pen. I have been looking at Le Bon fountain pens for quite a while and have been wanting to get one. And Pen Heaven was nice enough to send me one to check out and share with you guys. So we are going to open this up and check it out. Now I will say our postman like stabbed something through all of the packaging and it kind of hit the pen case here. It is a little annoying that he did that, but it doesn't bother me because I don't necessarily keep all of my pen boxes. I would have way too many to store. I actually keep my pens in a pen storage system. And also the box is still fully functional, even with that little dent. But I wanted to point it out because this didn't come from pen heaven that way. It happened in transport on the way here. You could see it on the packaging. So this is the box that it came in. It has the Le Bon logo there. And then this is my new pen and I'm really excited for this. So let me slide it out. So this is the Le Bon Mento and this is in the tortoise print. And it is a resin pen and it has like an old school tortoise shell print on it, which I really, really like. It does come with a cartridge, as you can see, it's like an international short cartridge with a black ink. And then this is the pen. It is so pretty. This is actually quite different from any pen that I have. I don't have anything in sort of a tortoise shell print. I just love how classic and vintage it looks. It's so pretty. Now these pens, the Mento pen is a little bit of a bigger pen. So I will grab a couple of pens just to compare it with you guys because the body of it is a little bit bigger. Now I am a girl, but I do have bigger hands. So for me, a chunkier pen actually works quite well. But if you are someone that has smaller hands, this may not be the pen for you. The cap does screw on and screw off. And I did get this in a medium nib can see that and then when you open it up it has a converter with it so you can put bottled ink in and that just kind of pops in and out and it just twists like a normal converter so that you can fill it with your ink and it does have the Le Bon logo on it there and we are actually going to fill this with ink let me put the pen back together real quick because I want to fill it with ink with you guys and do a little writing sample but i also want to do a size comparison but i want to fill it first so i was actually thinking because this is tortoise that i would fill this with a brown ink and i love brown inks i actually have quite a few brown inks from a bunch of different brands but i was flipping through my swatch book of the browns that i have swatched out most recently and I thought that the Le Bon Demeter Brown would be pretty with this. But then I thought that my most recent unboxing from Van Diemen's, I got this Laughing Kookaburra Tail in a sample. So it is here. This is the sample of that ink. And it's a really dark, lush brown. And so I actually thought, or I actually think that I'm going to use that in this pen because I do think that that's gonna be a really pretty color for this pen. It's a really nice deep color for journaling. Until I opened it up, I wasn't for sure what brown tone I needed if I wanted something cooler or warmer, but I think that this Kookaburra is gonna be perfect. So we are going to use that ink in this pen. And what we're gonna do first is we are gonna flush the pen. So actually I'm going to take it back apart and I'm going to put this back on it seat that in there and I'm going to stick this nib down in some water and I'm going to turn clockwise to suck some water up in there and then I'm going to turn counterclockwise to expel the water and I'm just going to do that a couple of times to flush the nib it's good practice to flush your new pens. There's always a possibility of a little bit of particulate or if a pen shop or a pen maker tests their nibs before sending it out, there can be ink residue in there. So I just find that 
it results in a much smoother write and a much better experience with your new pen if you have flushed it first. So we have flushed my pen and then I have kind of dabbed it off. My little fountain ink shirt. And then we are going to fill it with this ink. Now, a lot of times when I fill, let me set this here. Now, a lot of times when I fill a pen, I actually fill directly to the converter. I don't fill through the pen itself. But this one, I'm actually going to stick the pen nib down in because I, oops, a little much because I got ink everywhere. You have to be careful if you're going to do it this way in a, in a sample. So now I have ink on my table, but that's okay. That's why we have the fountain pen rag so that we can wipe it off. And actually what I'm gonna do real quick, before I do that, I'm gonna take my little swatch book and I'm going to turn the page and I'm just going to lay it down and absorb some of that ink. I like to do that because it just gives me an extra little swatch of the ink. I get a little bit on the edges, but that's okay too. It just makes it fluff out a little bit more. But sometimes it's fun just to use leftover ink or spills to make a little swatch area that's fun. And then I'm going to wipe up my counter real quick. Just a moment. All right, and now I'm going to just kind of wipe off the excess around the grip just so that the pen isn't covered in ink when I hold it. And then I'm going to put the pen back together. And I'm gonna put the lid on it. And then we're going to do a pen size comparison real quick. And then after that, we will do a little writing sample. So let me grab a few pens just so you guys can get an idea of the size. Okay, so I grabbed a few pens from a few different makers just to give a size comparison. So here we have the Le Bon Mento. Here we have a Twisby Eco. Ignore my kiddo in the other room. He is doing make-believe game and fight playing, so he's making some noise. I have a Bennu Euphoria. I have a Conklin Duragraph. I have a Platinum 3776 and a Lamy 2000. So those are the pens that I pulled out. I do have a lot of other different pens from different makers, but I thought this would be a nice selection to give you guys a good idea. So I'm gonna scoot these aside and we'll do one at a time. So here is a comparison just capped between the Eco and the Le Bon Mento. And then I'm going to uncap. And there you can see the size comparison can see that the barrel is quite a bit thicker than the Twisby. I'll undo these and then do them together. And here's a size comparison between the Bennu Euphoria, which is one of my favorite Bennu pens, and the Le Bon. So the body size doesn't feel substantially different, but up here where the grip is, that's where the size difference is. And then capped. I really like this Le bon pen. It reminds me a lot of some of my Opus pens and I didn't grab an Opus, but maybe I'll do that on Instagram soon. Did I show you the capped? <laughs> Sorry. And there is a comparison capped. And then here's a comparison between the Conklin Duragraph and the Le bon. And then uncapped, you can see how much smaller the Duragraph is from the Le bon. Then a Platinum 776, quite a bit smaller, as you can see, smaller in height and smaller in thickness. I can use a lot of different pen thicknesses and pen widths, but I do like some of my bigger pens quite a lot, especially for long journaling sessions. I think partly because my hands are a little bit larger, they're just a lot more comfortable to me. And then 
here you have it next to one of my Lamy 2000s. And then I will uncap. And there you have a size comparison there. So that's a little size comparison so you guys can get an idea of the size of this Mento. I think it is so, so pretty. I really love the look of it. I love the feel. It is really nicely weighted and it fits really nicely in my hand. Now I'm not a person that posts pens, but the cap does post, but I rarely post my pens. So I usually write like this. So it's important to me that they're comfortable without the cap posted and that they're nicely balanced without the cap posted. So now I'm going to grab my notebook and I'm going to flip to a blank page and we're going to do a little bit of, and we'll do a little bit of writing. My child is being crazy loud in there. to think about how you spell tortoise shell like if it was one word or two so it's the tortoise shell fountain pen it's a medium nib that is really wet and really really smooth and then we filled it with van demons laughing Uka burrow in the tail, which is a really nice deep brown and it really matches the dark deep pieces in there. So sorry about my family, but they're being super loud. It's almost game time. So there we have a writing sample with it. I really like how this pen writes. It is really smooth. I'm going to be journaling with this pen this week, so I'll definitely be sharing it on Instagram so you guys can check it out. But so far, I am really loving it, and I really enjoyed Pen Heaven Shop. They have a lot of beautiful fountain pens. They shipped really, really fast, and they were just a pleasure to work with. So I definitely recommend checking out their shop. If you have any questions about the pen that I shared in this video, the Laban Mento Tortoise Shell with the medium nib, please don't hesitate to comment below, and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos, and don't forget to just scribble.